hi guys and welcome back to my channel so this is going to be the final part of our exfoliation series so if you haven't watched the first or the second video then i'll suggest you go and watch those two first before you watch this one if this is your first time of coming through this channel kindly click on the subscription button and also on the notification bell so you get notified every time a new video is coming from me and for you to be well informed about this series i would really suggest that you go and watch the first two videos before you watch this one so let's dive straight in into this video now we have looked into the benefit of exfoliation in the first video and the second video i talked about the mechanical and the chemical way of exfoliating so now we are going to be looking into different skin types and the best type of exfoliation that will benefit the skin so we're going to start um with you know the reason why we exfoliate i've already mentioned that in the first two videos but i'm gonna still just touch on it a little bit we exfoliate our skin so that we can really reveal a younger newer clearer better looking skin so if you want this then you need to exfoliate your skin so if you have a dry skin i'm gonna start with dry skin you will tend to have a lot of dry flaky skin that means there's a lot of dead skin cells hanging around your skin. So you need to get rid of it. You can definitely go for a chemical chemical way of exfoliating, which is a way of using your AHAs and your BHAs and your salicylic acid. But please know what you are doing before you do that. Or get products that contain some of these um, AHAs that I've mentioned. So you can, for example, I love using the Ordinary product. The one that has glycolic acid toner, I love using that because like I said, I don't do scrubs on my face. So these are all my own ways of exfoliating my face and my neck. So I always use this toner once or twice a week to have that kind of exfoliation. I also use lactic acid. They have a lactic acid serum that I also use, which is another way of exfoliating my skin. You can also use a sugar scrub. If you have dry skin, sugar scrub, I love it because it's um some of these AHAs are made from sugar. I mean, sorry, come from sugar. So you can definitely introduce that into your skin as well. It's very good. It's very mild. And don't use, um, don't use force when you are scrubbing. I've mentioned that earlier. Please just be gentle. Salt scrub is very good as well. But what I found is they can tend to be a little bit more drying. So even if you are going to use a salt scrub, make sure that you follow up with a very good moisturizer so that your skin is moisturized and hydrated so you don't go through dehydration so that is for oily skin i mean for dry skin you can definitely use a mild chemical exfoliation like i said just with a gentle you know you can get a, a facial wash that's called glycolic acid or lactic acid so you can get um a facial cleanser that has glycolic acid or lactic acid or salicylic acid in them and use this to wash your face and use a very nice cloth and you use it to just wash it and then that is your way of exfoliating your face you can also use some very mild body wash that contain any of these things as well to get your body exfoliated if you have dry skin this is very very good chemical chemical exfoliation is very good if you have very dry skin then if you have sensitive skin i would say be careful when you use sugar or whether sugar or salt scrub because your skin gets irritated so quickly you have to be very very careful like you have to be 100 percent careful or else if you scrub too much you are going to have breakouts and then you will be thinking why but you have to be very gentle and also chemical exfoliation is very good if you have sensitive skin because the majority of them are very mild they are on very low percentages like the glycolic acid um, from the ordinary is only seven percent so that is very mild on the skin so you can definitely use that to exfoliate your skin if you have sensitive skin be careful not to over scrub your skin if you have sensitive skin you can just scrub your skin maybe once in a week or once every two weeks but please be very gentle with it but the best way for you to exfoliate your skin if you have a sensitive skin is to use the chemical method if you have oily skin then you can use the manual means of exfoliation which is using a scrub using a sponge using a kiss 
sponge whatever whichever one you want is very good for you you can use a sugar scrub you can use a salt scrub everything will work really well for you but it is very important that you do that at least twice in a week and if you are going to apply it on your face please be gentle you don't need to fight your face to scrub it be very very gentle and it's um you can also use a brush if you have an oily skin a brush is very very good for you as well if you have an oily skin so try and find something that it's not going to be too moisturizing because you already produce a lot of oils so don't use products that are packed full of oils too much and then find products the oils that are very good that can actually penetrate into the skin not the oils that will just sit down on top of your skin so know your product very well if you have an oily skin if you have a normal skin then you know you are one of the lucky ones that everything just work for because you can use any method of exfoliation and you will get an amazing result if you have a combination skin as well you can use any of this method and you will get amazing amazing results so let me quickly take you through how to exfoliate different parts of the body so for your face um for your face it depends on your skin type that will determine what kind of exfoliation process that you will go through but um if you're using a scrub please be gentle and always apply use your fingertips so that you don't put too much pressure on it and also rub it in in a circular motion and rinse off with a lukewarm water if you are using a chemical exfoliant then apply it with a cotton pad or a cotton wool whichever one you have or a washcloth and then just make sure you are very gentle with it if you are um, exfoliating your hands and legs then this way is easy for you to use a brush or to use um, a sponge um, or, or a glove. Those ones are very, very good. You can then, you know, just do it in a circular motion and just press it in and get them clean. Same thing goes for your hand and feet. This particular area, uh, the skin around that area can be a little bit tougher than the rest of the skin so try and use um i prefer to use like a like a pumice stone i'll put it to exfoliate the feet so you can use that to just you know brush it off like use it to because that area is a little bit tough and also i'll use a glove i like using a glove when i'm exfoliating my hand and my feet i definitely use that piece glove i'm gonna try and find a picture of that glove and put it in this video for your pubic area, um, it's better for you to use a loafer or the sponge as well and just do it gently and just make sure you exfoliate very well. Now, the last thing I'm going to talk about on exfoliation is how often should you exfoliate? This is a question that I get all the time. So how often you exfoliate is the, will be depending on your skin type. So, for example... Um, if you have um, uh, oily skin, for example, you might need to exfoliate frequently to, you know, and um, but don't over exfoliate. You have to be sensitive with it. You have to understand your skin and know what your skin can take and what it cannot take. Avoid exfoliating to a level that you will now be red. That is not necessary. So please try and be sensible when you are exfoliating so the the as long as you do it once or twice a week it is more than enough don't exfoliate your skin every day i don't like it when you it's a different thing if your body wash exfoliates and then you can do that every day but please try not to exfoliate every day once or twice is more than enough so I hope you have really benefited a lot from the three series of exfoliation that I've done. I have covered things from the benefit of exfoliation to um, different type of exfoliation, different ways that you can fully exfoliate, which is the chemical and the mechanical way of exfoliating. I've also talked about different skin types and how best to exfoliate that particular skin type. So thank you so much for watching that video up till this level. And I'm sure that you have definitely benefited from this three series of exfoliation that I have covered. If you have any question, please ask 
at the comment section i will be so happy to answer any question that you want to ask i have made a video about different type of scrubs that you can use i also have many more that i'm gonna make a video of and show you guys so that you know when you are picking um, a scrub you know which particular one you are picking so exfoliation is the key guys to a very flawless skin in 2021 exfoliation is the key thank you so much for watching this video if you are yet to subscribe please subscribe and also click on the notification bell so you get notified the next time a video is coming from me and please like this video share this video you know talk about this video with your friends let them know what you know information shared is always a good thing thank you for watching